Hello guys, this is Pounds from Headball 2. Today I'm doing a video based on a request of one of my followers by the name of Marin Wormgur. I hope I pronounced it right. Marin, if I did, I send you my apologies. So he wanted a video on how to react to superpowers from bots and how to defend against them. Now, the bots used by computers, obviously they are computers, will usually and most always often use a bomb and it's not always the same sequence, but I find it to be around that sequence. So the bomb would usually then be followed by a freeze. And then it could be anything um, from a giant and a double ball. Fireball is usually the fifth superpower used by the bot. And to close off, it might actually be a big ball or a clone ball. So usually on the first superpower, what you want to do is when it comes, you want to actually retract all the way to your goal, wait for the ball to bounce. As the bot comes towards you, you jump. So essentially, you are exploding both of you, the two players at the same time. Uh, that's the strategy I use. It depends when the bomb comes, but this is usually what I do. In terms of the freeze, I like to jump and I try to position myself just above the goal to where I'm just high enough that the ball cannot go above me and just high enough to where it actually makes it harder for the bot to shoot in between the top bar and my head. And uh, when the bot uses a giant player, the objective is to actually jump higher than the bot and try to kick a hot shot that goes over his head. It's not always bulletproof, it doesn't always work. Um, the double goal, obviously, you, you, you can't defend. Uh, when they use a fireball at the fifth spot on the fifth uh, superpower, you wanna basically jump about a second before that's activated. And for disorient, you just have sort of maneuver. Um, the clone balls, I usually jump like a madman. And I try to actually see where the ball is. Um, the last ball they'll use, the big ball is usually as a defense mechanism. So, um, you know, I just kick the ball around, nothing big. Sometimes they'll use extra time. Um, and they'll also use big goal. When they use big goal, you actually want to get as close to possible as the player to block his shot. Um, and finally... Uh, sometimes they'll use small goal, but I think in the vast majority of cases, it would actually be um, bomb, which would be followed by freeze, and then a combination either of giant player, disorient, or clone ball. Fifth superpower would be uh, the fireball, and followed in the end by either, you know, it could be extra time or clone ball, so it's not bulletproof, but that's what I tend to get facing bots. So since I'm playing here, uh, the event having infinite tickets and energy, I um, there you go. So there we go. Let's play a match here against Sky Master. So I did lose a match because I got disconnected. So this is kind of annoying, but that's okay. So here we go. I'm actually going to attack. I don't like to spend too much time. So here we go. I should get the bomb. No, I got the freeze here and I didn't jump. I was expecting a bomb, which will come now. I go to my goal. I wait and boom. The opponent came close enough to where we explode all together. Now it's the big one. So unfortunately, it came too quickly. Now I have no idea what's actually coming. It might be... No. So here it should be a fireball maybe. No, times two goals. So I just stay in my half again. And... If you have the skill slot, I'll talk about that later. Here's a fireball. See, I jumped. So that was good. And now it should be a big ball or disorient. So now he's got no superpowers. He's screwed. So it's important on the skill slots to actually use size and jump. And this will actually increase your likelihood of getting something done. And what I like to do is stay in my half. I like to pull, pop the ball up and then jump over my opponent. So here you'll see I'll pop the ball up. Jump over my opponent. I stay in my half again. I don't like to wander too much. And you will also see that when the bot comes close to you, you don't want to jump. So here it's five. Or I pop the ball up. I retract. I try to draw my opponent in and then shoot. It always works. So up and then shoot. Again. Now he's jumping. And see, I am not jumping when the ball is down. That's a mistake that a lot of players do. So I'm going to try to draw him in here. See, I'm not jumping. And at the very last moment, I jump. So this is how I defend when the ball's down. He's jumping like a madman. I stay in my half. So I'm going to draw him in again. He's going to come and boom. So there you go. Fortunately, it was too fast. So again, I'm going to draw him in and try to shoot. 
Didn't work out. I'm going to use a superpower probably within five, six seconds left. There you go. And with six seconds left, I use my clone goalie just to protect myself. So now he's going to jump. I got the freeze and I will use my clone goalie because I got six seconds left and I just chill. So this is how you, you beat bots and their superpowers. Um, it's important to remember that um, when the ball is on the ground, you don't want to jump too much. Just stay. And when you see that the ball's coming up, the bot's coming close to you, then, then you would jump. So I hope I provided you with uh, good uh, analysis on how to counter superpowers. Um, it went fast, so my description maybe wasn't as accurate as I wanted to because I had to focus on playing, narrating everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This kind of works for me. As you can see, I did get a disconnect. I was on, on the perfect record. Unfortunately, I got disconnected, so I had my first loss of the season. It annoys me because I would have been on 500 wins or something like that, and my win streak's at 637, so that's unfortunate. Um but yeah, this is this is usually what, what I do. So if you have liked the video, please do click the like button. And I do post a lot of videos which are also accessible on my playlist. This one is concerning uh, game tips. So it would be under the game tips playlist. So you guys take care. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.